Welcome students to the first lecture on determinants. I assume you are all familiar with matrices. In earlier lectures of IIT Paul, we have discussed matrix in great details. So, I assume that you know that a matrix is a rectangular array of real or complex numbers if a is a matrix then we denote it by say a 1 1 a 1 2 up to a 1 n a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 n like that a m 1 a m 2 a m n where so, the order of the matrix is m cross n that is there are m rows and n columns. and A i j denotes the element at ith row jth column position. we denote such a matrix as A i j i is equal to 1 to m j is equal to 1 to n where each A i j is a real or complex number. I further assume that you know matrix addition, subtraction, multiplication and transpose. If you do not remember this, please go back and revise this how to carry out these operations on a matrix. For this series of lecture on determinants, I assume that you are familiar with this and with that background, I will start what is called a determinant. Corresponding to each square matrix, we associate a number which is called its determinant. So, what is a square matrix? A square matrix is one in which the number of rows is same as the number of columns 
or a square matrix can be denoted as a i j i is equal to 1 to n and j is equal to 1 to n. That means, both the number of rows and number of columns of the matrix are equal. In that case, we call it a square matrix. How is determinant defined? If A is of order one cross one, that means if A has only one row and one column, that is A is a constant say A, then its determinant is A. If A is 2 cross 2, that is there are 2 rows and 2 columns, then we can write A as a 1 1, A 1 2, A 2 1, A 2 2 and its determinant we should denote as like this is equal to A 1 1 into a 2 2 minus a 2 1 into a 1 2. That means, it is the difference of the product of the diagonal elements and the product of the of diagonal elements. For example, a is equal to 1 2, 3, 4, then determinant of A is equal to 1 into 4 minus 3 into 2 is equal to 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 2. Another example. A is equal to A plus B C plus B C minus B A minus B. If this is the matrix, these are four different scalars, then determinant of A is equal to A plus B into A minus B minus C plus B into C minus B is equal to A square plus minus B square minus C square minus B square which is, is equal to A square minus C square. A third example, A is equal to cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta for some arbitrary theta, then determinant of A is equal to cos square theta minus 
sin theta into minus sin theta is equal to cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. One last example with 2 cross 2. If a is equal to 1, 2, 2, 4, then determinant of a is equal to 1 into 4 minus 2 into 2 is equal to 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Once we know the determinant of 2 cross 2 matrices, we can develop the determinant for higher order matrices. For example, consider now A which is 3 cross 3 matrix. That means, there are 3 columns and 3 rows. So, let A be A 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, A 2 1, A 2 2, A 2 3 or 3 1, A 3 2, A 3 3. In this case, determinant of A is equal to, we will expand it around the first row. So, I consider A 1 1 and this is to be multiplied by the determinant of this sub matrix. That is determinant of A 2 2, A 2 3, a 3 2, A 3 3 minus A 1 2, I am now taking the term first row second column. As I said, I am expanding the determinant along the first row of the matrix and this will be multiplied by the sub matrix which we can identify as follows. Since I am taking A 1 2, I would not consider this and would not consider this column. So, what is remaining is this sub matrix A 2 1, A 2 3, A 3 1 and A 3 3 and therefore, minus A 1 2 will be multiplied by a 2 1, a 2 3, a 3 1, a 3 3, this sub matrix determinant plus now only one more element is left that is a 1 3. Therefore, a 1 3 times determinant of the sub matrix that we get after deleting the first row and the third column. Therefore, this is going to be you can easily see is determinant of A 2 1, A 2 2, A 3 1, A 3 2, which now I can expand as A 1 1 times A 2 2 into a 3 3 minus a 3 2 a 2 3 minus a 2 a 1 2 into a 2 1 into a 3 3 minus a 2 3 into a 3 1 plus A 1 3 into A 2 1 into A 3 2 minus 
a 2 2 into a 3 1. If I expand it further, I get it is a 1 1, a 2 2, a 3 3 minus a 1 1, a 3 2, a 2 3 minus a 1 2, a 2 1, a 3 3 plus a 1 2, a 2 3, a 3 1 plus a 1 3, a 2 1, a 3 2 minus a 1 3, a 2 2 into a 3 1. So, this is going to be the determinant of the 3 cos 3 matrix, which we denote by A i j, i is equal to 1 to 3 and j is equal to 1 to 3. Example, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 1, So, what is going to be its determinant? A 1 1 which is 1 multiplied by the determinant of this sub matrix which is 5 into 2 minus 6 into 1 minus 2 into because a 1 2 is 2, 2 into the determinant of this sub matrix 4 into 2 minus 3 into 6 plus this is 3 therefore, 3 times 4 into 1 minus 3 into 5 is equal to 1 times 10 minus 6 minus 2 times 8 minus 18 plus 3 times 4 minus 15 is equal to 4 plus 20 minus 33 is equal to 24 minus 33 is equal to minus 9. that is the determinant of this 3 cos 3 matrix. We will work on computing for others, many other matrices in this class, but let me first mention a few points. One, is it necessary to expand only along row 1. As you have seen, I have computed the determinant by taking terms from the row and by multiplying it with the determinant of a sub matrix and putting the sign plus or minus as per the formula. Therefore, natural question is do we always need to go along first row? The answer is no. In fact, we can expand it along any row or any column, but we have to be careful in choosing the right sub matrix
and the sign. As you have seen, in some of the terms we put plus sign, in some of the terms we put minus sign. How that can be determined? The idea is as follows. If we are expanding along the ith row, then determinant of a is equal to let me write a i 1 multiplied by the determinant of a sub matrix. Let me call it m i 1 and there will be a sign minus 1 to the power i plus 1 plus minus 1 to the power i plus 2 a i 2 that is the second element of the row multiplied by the sub matrix determinant of the sub matrix a m i 2 where m i 2 is obtained by deleting the ith row and the second column from the original matrix. Like that we go and finally, we will write minus 1 to the power i plus n a i n determinant of the sub matrix m i n which can be obtained by deleting the ith row and the nth column of the matrix A. So, the formula is clear at each point depending upon along which row we are expanding we have to take the corresponding sub matrices and they have to be multiplied by the terms, but the sign of that will be determined by the row number and the column number that element of the element on which we are expanding now and it is going to be minus 1 to the power i plus 1 in general minus 1 to the power i plus j which is going to be the sign of the product of a i j multiplied by the determinant m i j. So, let me illustrate it illustration consider the same matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 1, 2 and we computed determinant of A is equal to minus 9 by expanding along the first row. Let us expand along the first column. Therefore, determinant of A is equal to 1 multiplied by 5 into 2 minus 1 into 6 plus minus 1 to the power 2 and 1 multiplied by the element 4 multiplied by the determinant of the sub matrix obtained by deleting second row and first column. Therefore, this is going to be 2 into 2 minus 3 into 1 plus minus 1 to the power this element it is the third row first column element. So, it is 3 plus 1 multiplied by 3 into 2 into 6 minus 3 into 5 is equal to 
1 times 10 minus 6 minus 4 times 4 minus 3 plus 3 times 12 minus 15 is equal to 1 into 4 minus 4 into 1 plus 3 into minus 3 is equal to 4 minus 4 minus 9 is equal to minus 9. Let me now expand along the third column. We have A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 1, 2 and we are expanding along the third column. Therefore, determinant of A is equal to minus 1 to the power this is first row third column 1 plus 3 into determinant of this sub matrix 4 into 1 minus 3 into 5 plus minus 1 to the power second row and third column and the element is 6 and I am multiplying it by the determinant of this sub matrix 1 2 3 1 therefore, it is going to be 1 dot 1 minus 3 dot 2 plus minus 1 to the power third row third column that element is 2 multiplied by 1 dot 5 minus 2 dot 4 is equal to this is 1 therefore, 4 minus 15 this is minus 6 into 1 minus 6 plus 2 into 5 minus 8 is equal to minus 11 sorry I missed the 3 here the element therefore, this has to be multiplied by 3 therefore, this is going to be minus 33 it is minus 5 minus 6 so it is plus 30 it is minus 3 into 2 therefore, minus 6 is equal to minus 9. Therefore, we can actually see that by expanding it with different row and different column we are getting the same answer. In order to visualize it for a general matrix consider a 3 by 3 matrix A is equal to A 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, A 2 1, A 2 2, A 2 3, A 3 1, A 3 2, A 3 3. Its determinant when expanded along row 1 is as we know a 1 1 into a 2 2 into a 3 3 minus a 2 3 into a 3 2 minus a 1 2 into a 
2 1 into a 3 3 minus a 2 3 into a 3 1 plus a 1 3 into a 2 1 into a 3 2 minus a 2 2 into a 3 1, which is, is equal to a 1 1, a 2 2, a 3 3 minus a 1 1, a 2 3, a 3 2 minus a 1 2, a 2 1, a 3 3 plus a 1 2, a 2 3, a 3 1 plus a 1 3, a 2 1, a 3 2 minus a 1 3, a 2 2, a 3 1. When we expand along row 3, we have determinant of A is equal to A 3 1 into A 1 2, A 2 3 minus A 1 3 into A 2 2 minus A 3 2 into A 1 1 into A 2 3 minus A 1 3 A 2 1 plus A 3 3 into A 1 1 a 2 2 minus a 1 2 into a 2 1, which is, is equal to a 1 2, a 2 3, a 3 1 minus a 1 3, a 2 2 a 3 1 minus a 1 1 a 2 3 a 3 2 plus a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2 plus a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 minus a 1 2 a 2 1 a 3 3. Now, if we compare these two expansions, we get plus a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3. Here also we have plus a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 minus a 1 1 a 2 3 a 3 2. Here also we have minus a 1 1 a 2 3 a 3 2. Then we have minus a 1 2 a 2 1 a 3 3. Here also we have minus a 1 2 a 2 1 a 3 3, the next term is plus a 1 2 
a 2 3 a 3 1 here also we have plus a 1 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 plus a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2 we have a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2 minus a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1 and we have minus a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1. Therefore, we find that instead of expanding it along the row 1, if we have expanded it along the row 3, we get the same answer. For your conviction, I shall now expand along the second column. We had a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 3, a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 3, a 3 1, a 3 2, a 3 3. Therefore, determinant of A expanding along second column is minus A 1 2. Since second column is this and I am starting with A 1 2. 1 plus 2 is 3 which is odd number therefore, minus 1 to the power 3 is equal to minus. The minus a 1 2 into a 2 1 a 3 3 minus a 3 1 into a 2 3 plus a 2 2 into a 1 1 a 3 3 minus a 1 3 a 3 1 minus a 3 2 into a 1 1 into a 2 3. Since I am using a 3 2 now, the determinant of a 1 1 a 2 3 minus a 1 3 a 2 1, which when we expand we get minus a 1 2 a 2 1 a 3 3 plus a 1 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 plus a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 minus a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1 minus a 1 1 a 2 3 a 3 2 plus a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2. Let me now compare the results with the one that we got by expanding along the first row. We have a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3. Here also we have a 1 1 a 2 2 
a 3 3 minus a 1 1 a 2 3 a 3 2 minus a 1 1 a 2 3 a 3 2 minus a 1 2 a 2 1 a 3 3 minus a 1 2 a 2 1 a 3 3 plus a 1 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 plus a 1 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 plus a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2 plus a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2 and finally, minus a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1 minus a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1. Thus, we see that when we expanded along the first row or the third row or the second column, we get the same answer for any general matrix A. This is not a proof, but you can verify in a similar way that whether you expand it along row 2 or column 1 or column 3, you will get the same expression. Therefore, the determinant of A is the same irrespective of which row or column you have considered for its expansion. I want you to remember the formula for expansion. We have to consider the terms along any row or any column. We have to multiply it by the appropriate by the determinant of the appropriate sub matrix and we have to put the sign properly by considering the element under consideration. If it is i j th element, then its sign is going to be minus 1 to the power i plus j and then when we expand it, we will get the determinant. I suggest that you verify the same by expanding along other rows or other columns. Now, let us explore certain properties of determinant. Property 1. Determinant of A is equal to determinant of A transpose. For 2 cross 2, we can easily verify consider A, B, C, D. We know its determinant is equal to A D minus B C. If this is called A, then A transpose is equal to A D B C and its determinant is going to be A D minus B C that is it is same. Let us now illustrate it with respect to 3 by 3 matrix A is equal to A 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, A 2 1, A 2 2, A 2 3, A 3 1, A 3 2, A 3 3. Therefore, A transpose is equal to a 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, A 2 1, A 2 2, A 2 3, A 3 1, A 3 2, A 3 3. You know that we get the transpose of a matrix by writing the ith row as the ith column 
Therefore, first row becomes first column, second row becomes second column and third row becomes third column. So, what is the determinant of a transpose? Let us again expand along the first row. So, it is a 1 1 multiplied by a 2 2 dot a 3 3 minus a 3 2 a 2 3 minus now I am expanding along the first row. So, it is a 2 1 multiplied by a 1 2 to a 3 3 minus a 1 3 into a 3 2 plus a 3 1 multiplied by a 1 2 into a 2 3 minus a 2 2 into a 1 3 is equal to if we expand now we get a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 minus a 1 1 a 3 2 a 2 3 minus a 2 1 a 1 2 a 3 3 plus a 2 1 a 1 3 a 3 2 plus a 3 1 a 1 2 a 2 3 minus a 3 1 a 2 2 a 1 3. Let us compare it with the results that we obtained some time back. This is what we got as the determinant when we have expanded it along the first row. This is what we have got when we have expanded it along the first column. Let us compare the terms a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 minus a 1 1 a 3 2 a 2 3 minus a 1 1 a 3 2 a 2 3 minus a 1 2 a 2 1 a 3 3 minus a 2 1 a 1 2 a 3 3 plus a 1 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 plus a 1 2 a 2 3 a 3 1. So, this term is same as this term plus a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 3 2 and minus a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1 minus a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1. Therefore, the terms are same with the proper sign same sign and therefore, the determinant of a is same as the determinant of a transpose. This is property 1. Property 2, determinant of a diagonal matrix is the product of its diagonal elements by the way this property is true for all n cross n square matrices but we are doing here with 3 cross 3 or 2 cross 2 so let us consider a is equal to a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 and the other elements are all zeros because it is a diagonal matrix. 
Therefore, its determinant, if we want to expand it along the first row, it is going to be a 1 1 multiplied by a 2 2 into a 3 3 minus 0 minus 0 times this determinant which I am not writing because it is going to be multiplied by 0 plus 0 times this determinant which again I am not writing because it is multiplied by 0. Therefore, all this term vanishes what is remaining is a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3. Thus, if A is a diagonal matrix, its determinant is going to be the product of its diagonal elements. Property 3, the determinant of a triangular matrix is the product of its diagonal elements. For example, consider A is equal to A 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, 0, A 2 2, A 2 3, 0, 0, A 3 3. Then, determinant of A is equal to if we expand along the first column, then a 1 1 into a 2 2 a 3 3 minus 0 times a 2 3 minus 0 times this determinant which I am not writing because it is multiplied by 0 plus this 0 times this determinant. But that is immaterial because it is being multiplied by 0. Therefore, what we are left with is a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3. Therefore, when we are given any diagonal or a triangular matrix, we would not have to bother calculating the determinant by expanding with some first row or first column, we will just look into it and we understand that because it is a triangular matrix, its determinant is going to be the product of the diagonal elements. Property 4, if we multiply each element of a row or column by a constant say k, then the determinant will also be multiplied by k. Or in other words, if A is equal to A 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, A 2 1, A 2 2, A 2 3, A 3 1, A 3 2, 
a 3 3 and we get a new matrix B say by multiplying the first row with K then we are elements of B are K 1 1 K A 1 2 K A 1 3 A 2 1 A 2 2 A 2 3 A 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 then determinant of b is k 1 1 k a 1 1 into a 2 2 a 3 3 minus a 2 3 a 3 2 minus k a 1 2 into a 2 1 a 3 3 minus a 3 1 a 2 3 plus k times a 1 3 multiplied by a 2 1 into a 3 2 minus a 2 2 into a 3 1. Thus, we see that all the three terms are multiplied with 1 k. So, if I take k to be common, then what I get is basically a 1 1 into minus a 2 3 into a 3 2 minus a 1 2 into a 2 1 a 3 3 minus a 3 1 a 2 3 plus a 1 3 into a 2 1 a 3 2 minus a 2 2 a 3 1 and this is nothing but the determinant of A, therefore, this is k times determinant of A. Okay, friends, I stop here today. In the next class, I shall explore a few more properties and will try to solve some more problems with determinants. Thank you.